Hi, this is Carrie with Arcany Farms, and I don't know. Let's just go around and check some stuff out. Bill is laying in the hay we put out. Mike is fixing a wire down there. Ben's eating. I said Ben's eating. You want to say anything to the camera? Well, I'm just trying to tack this old page wire on better. Um, we had a hot wire down here, but as we feed hay or or just bed in here, it's going to be in the way. So I'm hoping that this one's high enough that that'll keep the bull or whoever wants to play with the fence off of the top piece. But down here, uh, our bull likes to put his head at the bottom of these and push up. Um, so I'm just trying to tack it onto these posts. They weren't here before, it was just the T posts. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wood planks, 2x6s, 2x8s at least, and go along maybe half a foot off the bottom from one side to the other, and that'll better stabilize these posts. That'll hold these posts together better, give the building better structure, and it'll stop the... It'll take away the, the need for a hot wire the down there for the keeping them off of it. Should be strong enough. He won't be able to push up a board that's screwed into posts. I don't have those boards yet. Ben, do you like to cause trouble with our buildings? Horns are starting to look mighty wide. I'm actually slightly worried about it because I'm thinking she might end up with a November or December calf, which I don't really want. You might see this in the video for a little while longer yet. Um, these posts go above the roof because eventually I want to put posts. I want these posts to hold this structure, but I want them in the ground. But we don't have a post pole auger or even equipment to run a post pole auger, so we'll have to to rent the whole rig, the whole whole system, like both the a skid steer or something with a post pole auger. So what I'm trying to say is, I don't want to rent it for just these posts going into this building. We want to put posts over there for a gate. And maybe a few posts. Yeah, it is a rental property, but if we could just put a few corner posts on the outermost pieces of the property, we could get a good strong perimeter fence up. And not have to rely if there's a tree there or not. Don't know if you've seen all our tree work. And Ben is rubbing up against this pole. Hence the reason I say he's rough on our buildings. Ben's not sure what we're doing. <laughs> Tinkerbell's playing Queen of the Mountain. And Duke's just laying pretty much underneath her. The animals have become very comfortable with the dogs. In the beginning, they weren't that comfortable with them because the dogs were always, at the previous property, were always housed slightly away from them because we didn't trust them not to go under fences, where here we've upped our fence game a little bit. So they just chill out. Ben likes his head scratches. His head's a bit wet, probably because it was raining here earlier. The flies are on them because of the right. Ben, no. Anyways. So, 
After scratching Ben, he got a little headstrong, so I uh, walked away because I don't want to encourage and give affection when he's rubbing on me because I don't want him to know that it's... I don't want him to think that it's okay to push against us. He is still a bull. They might be exters, but I don't want him pushing against me. Tinkerbell stepped on him. Tilly's checking to make sure Duke's okay. You okay, Duke? Did Tinkerbell step on you? Tinkerbell's looking really wide as well, but she doesn't have any udder forming yet. Tilly. Ouch, Duke. No pause. This pile is just dirt and stuff that was buried by a bulldozer, the person that we rent off of. Bulldozed a lot of just garbage, so we're slowly working on cleaning it up. Mike's just working on putting that last post in. Things still look rough around here, but I'm hoping after a whole season or something, we'll have started getting things all figured out and looking a little better. So the next video we show that we got some stuff pulled out of this pile. Thanks for watching and I hope you catch the next video.